All right, let's figure something out about this place. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking. There's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our work lamps down here. Nah, that don't sound like it was a walker. <clears throat> hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Relax, bitch. There ain't no fucking uh, walker by him, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that they did that. I tried that a few months ago. Just ended up bleeding out. Ended up turning anyway. Yeah, like I said, it felt like Mike had done it before. He had a tourniquet on me real quick. Looks kind of crappy. So, how'd you end up with a name like Reggie? Kenny! What? I'm just asking. No, it's okay. It's not my real name. Hmm. Oh, my Looks US, rickety. Who the fuck is Nick? Oh. I can say who the fuck is Nick? He what I grew. Just thinking about Luke. Just. There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Cause me, I've known him I'll for be 20 years now, and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. I, Who I is don't Luke? Know. Well, I do. He'll show up. You can count on it. <sighs> I don't even really remember. It's been so long. You should, too. We're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. Yeah, I bitch. Smack on the ass. Hello? Get lost. Fuck you too, angry black man. Every video game gotta have an angry black man. That's some bullshit. I'm not that angry. Well, fuck these motherfuckers. You know what I'm talking about? You make me angry. I, I guess you could say they made him angry. But you know what? Shut up. Don't don't try to put logic into this. Okay, I told you I had to go over there, Clementine. Reminds me of the jewelry store. <laughs> Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids, they love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Hey, all relax. fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. <laughs> Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it.
Rise and shine. Uh, some, don't kick me, bitch. Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. You can fuck Lady remember. Don't kick me. I, when I get the opportunity, I'm gonna kick you right in the nuts. Push your nuts to your throat, bitch. Don't play with Clementine, young G. Triple OG, OG triple. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I'm to you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must be earned. That. Jennifer Shut will be up. taking over Reggie's well, duties you outside the world. Rude about you see him it. talking. Michael will continue on I showing just his value. Nice Carlos! See? Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no, that ain't gonna cut it. See, I can't have this kind of behavior. See, that's what happens when you lead a bitch inside. Before. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that One I? One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My, I'm not sure with my hand that I. Could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on. See, if she would have just shut the fuck up, we wouldn't have to do this. All right. A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. What did the five figures Do say it. to the face? Smack! <laughs> uh, Rick James, bitch. I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's actually it's slap. Time to get to it. work. Slap, say the face. Wasn't well, a slap. I fucked it up. God Sorry. Damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil coming up. God damn this thing. Oh shit. Clementine. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Bonnie, you a bitch. I thought you was cool in hey, the days. I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines.
Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. You are. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. You didn't. Bitch. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it, keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. Yeah, it is. A work release. They shut Didn't up. they do those in prison? Right, exactly. Right. Probably. I don't know. I never been. You've to been prison. to rehab though. You cracked out ass tell bitch. No one. Trying to keep a tough reputation. All right, don't make jokes with me. I'm not your friend, hell. You I probably was got hurt to go. You like you got drunk out of Rio and Carlos like and all them left. I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. But you attacked them instead? Hey, I didn't attack anyone. Bill did all that. I didn't want... I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. I just wanted everyone to be safe. Out there ain't exactly all flowers and rainbows. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. You're not safe, I mean, you dumb bitch. It ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? What is that? The... I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Like ass coat. Think it might be for skin. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Stop trying to be my oh, friend, there you meth are. head. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. It is ugly, that jacket. Follow me. Come on. Stay in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything.
Hey. You have to be tough, Sarah. Everything is harder now, but you have to be tough to survive. Yeah, you have to man up. You can't. My dad's never hit me before. Well, you needed a hit. Shit, because you're being, you're being stupid. It was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. You ain't seen shit. You've been in the house all the fucking time. The whole zombie outbreak. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. I don't give a shit. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? No. Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. She's a baby. There's no helping her. Whoa, that's harsh, kid. I think if Bill did that to me, I'd cry a little too. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. This some silly ass shit y'all got us doing. I mean, I feel bad for her, but she need tough love or something because he ain't did nothing but happen in the house all the time. <sighs> Hey. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm. Shut up, <laughs> shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We... Sarah, she didn't understand. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. Well, I mean, shit, but that's your fault. But well, even if I didn't, if I would have just did my stuff, she wouldn't have did hers. People, somebody would have got in trouble anyway. 
Just say a fucking weak link. Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Damn. Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just you a dumb ass. Shut the fuck up, Bonnie. Bonnie, get the fuck out of my face, Bonnie. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy. Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Fucking asshole. That shit gonna break. Do you not see how wobbly that shit is? <laughs> Y'all got a shitty ass security system up in here. Nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me. You ain't gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Who did you? <laughs> shit! Fucking grab something! Ah, oh, shit. Uh, move! If you gonna move, fucking move! Get 
them off of you, though. You gotta get them off of you. Can't, uh, Clem time. I'm gonna call that Kenny, but Clem. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Yo, I'm sorry that a little girl couldn't handle fucking three zombies by herself. Oh, thank God. You're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? That shit gonna break. You just know it. That's why they're showing it. Who the fuck is that? Stop! Hey, it's me, Luke. The fuck yes. you just grabbing on people, there? Man, get the hell out of me! I think you drew blood? Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. What are you doing here? All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. You know, a way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem. I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! I know, dude. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. He here too? Uh, big about So, you should probably go. That's Big Lebowski from 400 Days. They all here, I guess. From 400 Days. They all together. Rebecca! She's a strong woman. Surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. 
Got a dead body over there. Just, just chilling and shit. Alvin? Oh. Alvin. He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. I like that fucking but they are weak, and kind of we are strong. Shit dirty, though. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're gonna get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. So you don't even give a shit right. if it ain't your baby now. You there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Remember that it might be a uh, walk talk for you to take in that room. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but... It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. 
You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. And here we go sneaking in. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's he was perfect. Sex in it, wasn't we he? just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. We should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that. But the herd is still what's gonna get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hidden from. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get that turd radio, he keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. <laughs> what do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell yep. you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. She's right. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. This is gonna be Where our female badass. Because we don't have a male badass currently. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. I miss the old group from season one. That group was better. I like this. Don't I mean, the group's go. okay. I got you. That first, that season one group was the shit. Something's gonna happen. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards.